G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. 7.30 in the morning and the temperature is around the 18 degrees centigrade. And nobody else has been down the track yet. So I'm getting all the cobwebs, clearing it for everybody behind me. I'm just coming up to one now, which... Yeah, go underneath. The video today was an idea from a viewer uh, who looked at one of my older videos about the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials pack and asked, is it possible to fit a waist belt? Because he wanted to use it for uh, running. I don't know if he's going to be running through the bush, the tracks. So I've made this video to show you how I've done it and how the pack is actually set up for you to be able to do it. So this is it. This is the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials Pack. And if you've seen any of my videos, you may have seen the reviews I've done about this pack. But like I said, somebody asked a question whether you can fit a belt to this one. So here's a belt I actually made and fitted to this. It isn't a permanent one. I can take it on and off. So I'll show you how I've done it. And I'll also explain why I did it the way I did. So first of all, it was a spare bit of webbing I had. And I just bought these buckles online. This one, I wrapped it through and folded it over by about, was that a good, say, inch and a half. And I did a double bar stitch down to keep it nice and strong. And the other half of the buckle is just pushed through so it could be adjusted in length. Uh, the other half that I actually puts through the pack attachment is just folded over about an inch and I've just done a bar stitch down there to allow for that to open up as a T so that will hold without falling out. The webbing is a 20mm webbing or 20mm strap and the way I fit this to the pack, let's adjust the camera. Is here's the buckle which is attached to the pack. Now, I don't put it through that way because I don't want this folded bit on the inside, <coughs> excuse me, because of it rubbing and probably making a hot spot. So what I have done, or what I did do with this one is, I push it from the inside to the outside so now that folded piece is on the outside. So when I'm wearing it, it's a nice flat, so there's less chance of getting a hot spot. But as you can see, give it a hard enough tug, that will come out. But for general wear, and it's only a small pack, that's gonna hold that up against your body. I could have stitched that over, had it as a permanent, uh, we'll see how it goes. I might end up just doubling that over to make it even thicker So there's going to be less chance of that coming out Which by the looks it might be a better idea But I wasn't sure if it fit through as a triple Let's try it now Yep, that will fit through so when I get back I'll fold that over and I'll put another stitch down here bar stitch all the way through So we've got a nice thicker and a more secure waist strap on there and that's done exactly the same on the opposite side there so now the reason why the person asked was they like I said they wanted to go running with a pack and they thought it'd be an ideal little pack to wear for it so I suppose I could even because I've got the loop there, I could just put a small carabiner through that 
and that'll stop it sliding through. So I don't think I've got any at the moment. Oh, I've got a, a clip on one on my pack. Let's try and get that off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put this one through. Should fit. Now that's going nowhere. And because I passed it through the way I did, and that's not going to be rubbing on me. Turn it around. Nice and secure. And that's doing nothing. Yeah, I think instead of stitching, I'll just get a couple of small carabiners, hang the carabiners there, then I've always got a carabiner for emergencies. Yeah, I like that idea. I might even have a look at doing with this one. Is because if you can see, this piece here is for your webbing to go into, and that's a one inch webbing, but it's only about five mil different. Let's have a look. There we go, that could go through that. Again, that's going nowhere, still nice and strong and secure. And I could use the carabiner. You have another option of putting the webbing straight through this one and bringing it across here. But if you were to do that, you'd have that strap or your webbing, whatever you want to call it, will be right across your back and with movement, that eventually create a hot spot and you'd get a bit sore. So that's why I did it the way I did with it coming through that way to keep it nice and flat and keep the original back of the pack there nice and comfortable. Yeah. Nice and stiff. So it's not going to come undone. I suppose after a while of wear, that'll soften up and get a lot easier. So there we go. The waist belt fitted to the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials Pack. A lot of other packs, especially the military style ones, have got these little uh, rings there to attach or you buckle, whatever you want to call it. So you can uh, fit a belt yourself. But before you buy your webbing, measure that little ring and order your webbing to fit. Because you don't want to have the tw uh, 20mm little ring here and get yourself a 25mm uh, webbing belt or webbing to make a belt. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell and the like button if you're not a subscriber. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.